Hey everyone, Itai Manero here, and in this video I'm going to talk about how to overcome art block. So let's jump right into it. For today's illustration, I'm going to be using my paint and chill brush set for Procreate. You can find it along with a free version for you to try it out through the link in the description below. I will also be using this couple of awesome reference photos by Michael Cran and Dario Gomez. Remember that you can see what brush I'm currently using at all times by looking at this rectangle right here. Ok, this week's video was going to be a normal tutorial, just like all my previous ones, but something happened that I'm sure you have also experienced at some point in your life. I got a massive art block. The thing happened like this. I woke up with the idea of sitting at my desk and starting to work on my tutorial. I knew I wanted to show how to use my paint and chill brushes, but I didn't have anything planned. I sat there for a long time and I couldn't come up with any ideas on what to paint. I took a break and tried again, but after deciding on what to draw, I wasn't too convinced and even during the painting process, I just wasn't feeling it. And this terrible feeling was there with me until the very end of this illustration. This is not the first time I have an art block and I know for sure it won't be the last, but I have enough experience to know what to do when I feel blocked and I thought on sharing those tips with you. So here we go. Tip number one, look for references that inspire you. The first thing I do when I don't know what to draw is looking up for references. I like this website that I mentioned in previous videos called Unsplash because it has tons of copyright free photos that you can use as reference knowing that you will never get into any legal issues. A little bit of searching in there and I always end up seeing an image or two that will light the spark I was looking for to know what to draw. Just to clarify, I don't look for just an image to copy and that's it. I'm looking for ideas, maybe an interesting subject, maybe a nice color palette. I will most likely end up using a few different references to use as a general inspiration to create something new. Tip number 2. Listen to music that inspires you. Putting on your headphones and listening to music that really inspires you can trigger the creative parts of your brain while you draw or paint. I really like to do this, I find it very effective. Music has the power to make anything more epic and get you in the mood. Think about it, almost any piece of media uses music in it, from movies to video games. Content creators like YouTubers use background music in their videos, like the music you're hearing right now in this video. Music used in the right way makes everything more interesting and it can make your creative process more interesting too. For example, while I was working on this illustration, I was listening to the Hollow Knight soundtrack. Hollow Knight is a video game that I love playing and has the most beautiful and evocative music. It is a fan art of this game I did a while ago, by the way. This game's music awakens in my brain that spirit of going on an incredible journey, the feeling of adventure and wonder. And even if at this point I wasn't still convinced of what I was drawing, it surely made the experience a little more epic and helped me to keep going. Tip number 3. Step out of your comfort zone. If you don't know what to paint, why not take in the opportunity to paint something you don't normally do? Maybe you'll find a new thing that you're good at drawing or painting that you didn't know about. Or worst case scenario, you will improve a little more on drawing something you're not very good at. For example, I don't usually draw female characters. I find it very hard and I'm not very good at it. So for this illustration, I decided to draw a girl walking in the forest alone with her chameleon pet going on some sort of adventure. And this ties into my next tip. Tip number 4. Try drawing or painting in the style of another artist you like. When I feel blocked, I find that looking at the work of other artists always helps me find inspiration, especially those artists that I really admire. A nice exercise that can really push you out of your art block is trying to do an illustration in the style of an artist that really inspires you. For example, for this illustration, I tried to draw this girl in the style of Tony Sandoval. I always loved his art and the way he draws the shapes in his characters, especially the shape of the heads he draws. It doesn't matter if I end up pulling it off or not. What really matters is that by leaving my comfort zone and trying to paint like another artist, I'm very likely to learn a thing or two in the process.
Tip number five, find brushes that you enjoy working with. If you work in digital, whatever it is Photoshop, Clip Studio Paint or Procreate that you use, finding brushes that you really enjoy working with is very important. And I'm not talking just about my brushes here. Different digital brushes can give you totally different feelings when you draw or paint with them. It's the same thing as going into an art supply store and getting the supplies that you like the most. The same goes for traditional art as well. Finding the right materials or technique that suits you best can help you feel motivated when working in your art. Tip number 6. Keep going, even if you don't feel like it. This is something I learned when I was working in the animation industry. Once you become a professional artist working for a company, you have to deliver a certain amount of illustrations or designs every working day, so there is very little margin for feeling art block there. Even if you're feeling that way, you still have to deliver a certain amount of work at the end of the day, so the only way to do it is by keeping on working even if you don't feel like it. There's a very important benefit to this, and it is that after doing it for a while, you soon realize that you don't always need to be super inspired to do the job. At the end of the day, your skills are still there, your capacity to do the work is still there. Maybe it is just not going to be your best work to date, and that's okay, better days will come. Tip number 7. Take a break and come back fresh. Sometimes, you really feel like you can't do anything in that moment. When that happens, take a break. It can be a small break, like getting up your chair, walk around the house, take some fresh air by the window, or go make yourself a nice cup of coffee. Many times that's more than enough to give your inspiration a little boost when you go back to your desk. But if you really need a break, then go outside, take a walk, go watch a movie or meet with some friends. You probably can't do this if you're working for a company and you have a schedule to stick to. But if you are an independent artist like I am right now, I assure you that taking a break can totally help with art block. Make sure to not take a break too long though. If you end up not working for two months, that's not a break. That is avoiding to face your fears. Tip number 8. Remember that you don't have to do a masterpiece every time. This is an important one. You don't have to do a masterpiece every time. You just don't. Repeat that to yourself as many times as you need. We are not machines. We cannot produce the same quality art every single day. Doing art is not like assembling furniture. Art depends on craft and emotions and meaning. So don't punish yourself if you can't create a masterpiece every single time that you lift your pen. Sometimes it is more than enough to create some art, good or bad. Everything adds to your growth as an artist, even your bad pieces. Tip number nine, take the opportunity to experiment and mess around. Since this is probably not going to be your best artwork, why not taking the opportunity to experiment? Do something you wouldn't do in an artwork that you're proud of. For example, when I was finishing this illustration, I realized how much I didn't like the color palette. Because I didn't care too much about this piece, I started to mess around with the gradient map tool. I literally changed the colors for the entire piece using this method, and I ended up liking it a lot more after that. Tip number 10. Finish your piece. Even if you're not enjoying yourself with your painting when you are experiencing art block, I 100% recommend to finish your piece. As I said before, maybe it is not going to be your best artwork. There is a chance that you will not even like it by the end. But if you push yourself to finish it, at least you will have a nice sense of accomplishment. You will also have learned a little more during the process, so that your next illustration is going to be a little bit better. Remember that as an artist, you're going to be always learning, always evolving, and that's something good. Hey, I hope you liked this video and found it useful. Let me know in the comments below what version of my artwork you liked the most. Also feel free to comment what else works for you when you're feeling art block. I would love to know. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and give me a thumbs up. Check out my Gumroad page, where you will find my paint and chill brush set for Procreate and many other sets that I have available. 
I also have tons of freebies in there, so check them out. All the links are in the description below. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.